<coughs> Check her out by look what we got. We got some Pepper X oil made with the world's hottest pepper, Pepper X, recently declared by Guinness, coming in at a whopping 2,693,000 Scoville heat units. It recently just surpassed the Carolina Reaper. And for any of my friends and family out there that don't know, the Scoville heat unit scale just determines how much heat is inside the pepper. So we have oil from the world's hottest pepper here. I believe Ed said it's a 70% concentrate of Pepper X. So that's pretty, pretty amazing, right? We did get this from Smoking Ed himself and the Pucker Butt Pepper Company. So Ed had the 12 days of Christmas and he was giving away a lot of gifts and uh, we were lucky enough to win a couple and Ed's a great guy and he's always been good to us. And he had sludges for sale, and he had the oils for sale. And all proceeds went to help the Brooklyn Angels, which is another great cause and great charity. And, you know, when I seen Ed bring out the oil, you know, my, my eyes lit up, guys, you know, because I thought to get my hands on an extract of Pepper X or a concentrate of Pepper X, I'm, you know, I thought of just so many video ideas started swirling, and I wanted to, I wanted to get it right away. And uh, we were fortunate enough to get one, you know, and I want to check for a few different things, right? As, as everybody knows in the chili community, okay, you have a Carolina Reaper, it's a good throat burner, right? You have a scorpion pepper, it's an automatic good aggressive sting on the tongue, which is my favorite pepper, by the way. <laughs> but for something like Pepper X, I have no idea. I have no idea where the burn is on this where the burn resides. I have no idea on the flavor, what the flavor's like. I had many questions going through my mind when I seen this oil. So we're excited to try it. We're gonna check for a few different things then. We're gonna check for smoothness, we're gonna check for flavor, and we're gonna check for heat, and also where that heat is at. Without further delay, guys, let's just get into it. And let's check Pepper X. We already got some in the Robbie. Look at that. We got a half a Robbie there. You know, when I smell it, I almost do get that smell of the sweet, like, extract. It almost has a tinge smell like the end. But it's not as thick as the end. Like, you can see the consistency just in here already. Well... Once it covers the ball, you probably can't. Okay, let's just pull it out and we'll check this a bit here. We got our spoon. Get a few drops on the spoon. There we go. I mean, it's it's not as thick as the end. So. It's not like a, it's not, maybe the sludge would have been a bit thick. Whoa. Bit went on the carpet. So it's a little, has a little bit of run to it. I'd say it's like a mid range consistency for it. For it. So there we go, guys. We got a nice bit on there. Hopefully, you guys can see that. You guys can see that good look. Get a bit on there, but we'll do a bunch of it. Look, we'll do a bunch of her. Yeah, that's a. Let's go. Let's try it. Okay. Hmm. Well, all right. I find it does have a bit of a sweetness to it. Like, I get like a, I definitely get that extract taste. It does kind of taste like the end a bit, but not as, not as potently, not as potent as what the end does. It, 
it's better tasting. It's smoother. <coughs> That's what I say. But it does. It's 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 smoother. Tastes better. <coughs> and I gotta say, I think the burn. That's a good burn on there. It's rampant. Like, it's going pretty good now. It's got some good heat. Yeah, I'd say the heat for me is... I'm trying to give it a sec just to let it build, but the heat for me is probably right away two or three and building. And... For me, it's kind of all at the back of the tongue, the roof of the mouth. Middle of the tongue, just a good overall mouth burn. You know, I swallowed a glob of it, so I think some of it went to my throat. But I'm just getting a good overall, overall mouth burn. Hmm. Does feel like it's creeping and crawling a bit and inching its way a bit higher here. It's it's definitely lasting like it's not diminishing in any way it's I'd say my heat's probably a three maybe a three or a four right now and for me you know if my heat scale I find if I get to a, a good solid four or five my sinuses start going off a good four my sinuses my nose will start running so yeah that's got some good heat Smooth, flavor's gonna be a five, and heat's gonna be a five for me. If you were a non-chili head, I believe the heat would be a seven or an eight for this oil. It would light you up, son. she will give you some serious heat. <laughs> Again, the burn for me is all over the mouth, a good all over the mouth burn. I don't got too much at the throat now, but there's still, which indicates to me it's not a throat burner. I think I just swallowed some initially at down the hatch there. But for me, the burn is all over the mouth. Tongue, upper roof of the mouth, and kind of like my mouth is salivating a little bit. Nose is running maybe a touch. But uh, yeah, so I'd say four or five for my heat on that. Good, good burn. And uh, if you can get your hands on some of that, definitely check it out. we got a lot of videos planned for this sucker. Cheers, everybody.